Before installing the reducer, clean the machine or conveyor shaft with a shop towel or soft cloth to remove any residue. Do not use any type of anti-seize on the shaft or bushing. A 132nd by 45 degree chamfer at the end of the shaft is recommended for ease of installation. To begin installation, guide the reducer, support side first, onto the shaft. Do not force the reducer onto the shaft. When correctly positioned, the end of the shaft should be flush with the clamp side bushing ring. Too much shaft extending through the bushing will not allow the covers to be installed. If the shaft does not extend completely through the bushing ring, the bushing may not clamp properly and will slip during operation. The support side should have no more than a quarter of an inch of exposed shaft between the support side covers and the equipment. Once the reducer is in position, remove the spacer bolts from the clamp side bushing assembly. Tighten the hex head bolts on the clamp side bushing assembly to the torque shown in Table 1 of the installation sheet. Begin by tightening the bolts by hand using a circular pattern. Do not use a star pattern as this will cause the gearbox to bind or wobble excessively on the shaft. Use a torque wrench to finish tightening. Set the torque wrench for 50 to 75% of the final torque rating. Torque the bolts at this setting for two to three rotating sequences. Set the torque wrench for final torque rating and torque for two or three more rotating sequences or until all bolts are at the same torque. After the clamp side has been fastened, Follow the same procedure with the support side bushing. Attach the split cover on the support side. There are multiple drain holes in the cover, so positioning is not important. Attach the clamp side cover. When properly mounted, the clamp side cover will have the Stober logo upright and drain hole will be on the bottom. Stober geared to a higher standard.